In this video, I started out with $0 in a truck and spent the last two years building the farm to where it is today. So we're back again for season three to see if we can expand the farm even more. So if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go do some farming. Well, boys, spring is sprung, winter is over, and we're back out on the farm for hopefully our biggest year yet. We've got $10,505 in the bank account and a whole year's worth of work ahead of us. So the main goal for this year is expansion. Now, over the last two years of us building up this farm, we've uh, went from pretty much nothing to having a pretty decent amount of farmland. And this year, we're going bigger. Anyways, the used equipment store down the road has a bunch of new equipment this spring. So we're probably going to head out there later. And, uh, well, I got some plans to uh, expand on the equipment end. Anyways, first things first is we got to get the old 4020 going and do just a little bit of cleanup here before we get to some field work. So over the fall, we ended up cleaning up a bunch of trees over here. And uh, they're kind of in the way of where we want to expand the field to so gotta see if we can push these all out of here so we can expand the field just a little bit further to really maximize what we can make off a of harvest all right just getting the last little bit of the trees pushed up here with the old 4020 and i think we pretty much got her here so we ended up getting two new tractors in the fall and that we really haven't had too much of a chance to actually put them to work so uh i'm excited to see what the new 4040 can do now funny enough this 4040 is actually probably one of the newest tractors we've had on the farm it's actually got a cab and air conditioning and heat so uh should be a little bit nicer to work in than uh some of the older tractors okay so we're gonna try expand this field just a little bit actually you know what i don't know if this disc is gonna work for this so i was looking in the shop for our plow and turned out we sold that i completely forgot about it so we can't expand the field anymore which kind of sucks so maybe when we head back to the equipment dealer we can uh, get something to plow up the extra field that we need to anyways in the meantime here we're gonna get the cedar pulled out we got a little bit of seed but we're definitely gonna have to get more that is just barely enough to probably fill up the cedar well i got the old new haul and fired up here we're going to see if we can get those seed bags down and uh, hopefully get the cedar filled up and ready to go. We're going to have to do a little ground prep with the disc before that, but that really shouldn't take too long. Alrighty, seed bags acquired. I'm only going to try lift one at a time here up to the cedar or else uh, we're going to tip, which I do not want. Okay, I got the cedar filled up here. I guess uh, it takes a little less than I thought because it didn't even take one full bag. All right, with that out of the way here, we're going to hop in our uh, old Ford here, grab our trailer and get going. Now, the thing is with the equipment store is I can't go there and not come back with something. So better safe than sorry to bring the trailer. All right, well, we made it out here to the used equipment store and it looks like there's a pretty decent stock this spring. Now, the main thing I'm looking for right now is something that could tear up the ground and this thing looks pretty decent but not what i need however this right here will definitely do the trick now it does look pretty dang big but i think it's going to work enough to where the tractor can still pull it and it's big enough to actually justify using now it does look fairly new but everything in here is used so uh i should be able to get it for a pretty decent price now this right here I absolutely do not need it, but I am still tempted. Okay, so the owner just pulled this thing out. It's a Fiat, I think, dozer. Pretty tiny dozer, but honestly, I think this is something we need on the farm because we have a bunch of upcoming construction projects, and I feel like this would be perfect for leveling out the ground that we need to work on. I also do need to push over some trees, so uh, this actually might be the perfect thing to buy. I'm going to go talk to him here, see if I can work out a deal for the dozer and uh, that subsoiler there. Oh, boys, I just spent eight thousand dollars between the dozer and the subsoiler there's a lot of money but hopefully it's going to be worth it now i did ask him about this loader and this is something we're definitely going to come look at later if it doesn't sell but uh i feel like this will be another great addition to the farm but right now i just can't justify it so we're going to need to make some more money before i even try to buy anything like that well everything's loaded up here and we're just headed out uh i don't know if this trailer is the greatest option for hauling a dozer like this but uh it seems to work we might be a little overloaded but hopefully we can make it back to the farm after getting back to the farm we got our new equipment unloaded and it was time to get springfield work underway our biggest problem last year was not having enough ground to harvest so hopefully with the new field changes this year that would change that now even though we were taking away much needed hay ground for the year i figured expanding our farmable area would be better for the farm in the long run but only time would tell with the field now expanded it was time to move on to the second field and get to work over there and the main problem with this field was the trees when we cultivated this field the last year we neglected to take care of one of the biggest problems and it ended up being a massive hassle so with our new equipment acquired i figured it would be the perfect time to take on this problem we began by pushing some of the smaller trees down with the dozer and cutting down some of the bigger ones with the chainsaw after getting all the trees taken care of we grabbed our 4020 and began clearing them up after getting the remainder of the trees piled up and delimbed i plowed out the now open spots of land and left the trees for a later date when we could take them to the sawmill and actually make a bit of money. Alrighty, so we got all the equipment back to the yard here. We've got both fields finished 
to uh where i want them trees are cleared out of the far field this field right here got extended by actually good amounts so we should be getting a lot of grain off of this depending on what we seed here i'm thinking soybeans but we've done soybeans on this field for the last two years and i think it's time we change it up so we're probably gonna go with uh wheat on this field even though it doesn't make a whole lot of money it's the straw that we're gonna need now the reason for that is because in the next couple weeks pending approval from the bank i'm gonna get a big not a big loan but a, a pretty big loan pretty decent size one to build a brand new barn and hopefully have some cattle now i've been saying i've wanted to expand to cattle for the last however long and i feel like this year is the year we can do it another thing i also want to do with the new loan is build another shed probably a pole shed just to store hay and all that because really we need some hay storage we're lacking a bunch right now so we've got the cedar all good to go here now i don't think we can plant just yet maybe gotta wait another day or two and we can only plant uh soybeans corn sunflowers stuff like that with this planter if we want to plant some wheat we have to uh get a cedar which i think i might know where i can find one but right now we don't have a whole lot of money now the good thing is i have a plan to fix that now it does involve that's right you guessed it lumber or wood yeah anyway we're gonna get some of this loaded up take it to the sawmill there see how much money we can get for it i do want to get the stuff from the other field there but we might leave that till later i don't know anyways until we get the loan from the bank we're not going to be able to do a whole lot to upgrade the farm but once that does go through we'll get to work on it pretty quick i guess we're gonna find out if the flatbed can work for hauling logs it should after getting the truck loaded down with as much lumber as we can fit on we headed to the sawmill to see how much money we can make and as it turns out we made quite a bit and with our newly acquired money i stopped at the one place i knew i could definitely spend it and just like that i spent about four thousand dollars and with the rest of the liquid fertilizer and seed acquired for the year we'd be able to start seeding right away okay so pretty much the money that i made in the scraps of wood that i sold we bought seed and fertilizer with but that's good because we don't need to buy any more this year and that's one less thing we have to worry about but one thing we do have to worry about is how i'm going to plant this to wheat now i'm gonna have to find a heck of a good deal on a cedar or else uh this might be getting replanted to corn or soybeans i am not entirely sure but i'm sure we'll figure something out anyways the farm's off to a good start this year hopefully we'll be planting real soon and uh after that i guess it'll be haying which we don't have a whole lot of land to hay but uh i'm sure it'll still take some time and if we get cows this year we're gonna have to keep a bunch of it so that'll be uh, a bit less money in our bank account but hopefully we shouldn't need to spend too much more of it other than when we get the loan and we have to get all the cattle stuff together but that's a whole nother deal so since we weren't able to seed yet i decided i'd load up the 4020 and head out to our far field where the lumber we had previously cut was ready and waiting so with the help of the 4020 we got it all loaded up then headed back to the sawmill to make back some of the money i'd spent irresponsibly but the wood now sold it added us a cool 1700 bucks and with that it would hopefully be enough to get us a cedar anyways hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye